Good afternoon, guys. Today, we are gonna be discussing 10 things I love about the 2024 Mustang GT. All right, so the first thing is gonna be the approach lighting of the vehicle. So when you walk up to it and you unlock the vehicle, it has these cool little lights right here. And same thing with the back. So when you lock the vehicle and you unlock it, And I don't know if it's gonna show up that well in the daylight, but I'll include a video at nighttime. It's, it's a really cool feature, definitely makes the uh, car stand out a lot more. All right, so number two is the Easter eggs on the vehicle. So let me show you. So the first one right here is on the back window and it I don't know if it's going to show up in the light but there's a bunch of different Mustang body styles ranging from the first one the 1965 all the way to the new S650. So that's really cool there's also one under the hood of the car so let me pop it open real quick. There we go. Also bonus points uh, 2.5 is the uh, the struts. Um, instead of the prop rod, you have the hydraulic struts, which is very cool. So actually, if you pop open the air box or the intake, pop it open, and you take a look under here, you can see all the different types of displacements from uh, 1965 all the way to the, uh, the newest one. So that's really cool. All right, and there's another one if you pop the trunk open. On the passenger side right here, there's another outline of the S650. The trunk release right here has a little guy hopping out of the trunk and running away. So I think that that's pretty funny. All right, for number three, we're gonna hop into the car real quick. Ugh. And then if you take a look here, I have a dash cam right there. And it's actually plugged into a USB that's located right behind there. So it makes it really convenient. That way you don't have to route it all the way through um, the, the panels and under the carpet and then plug it into the uh, USB port. It's nice and, uh, nice and easy and keeps it clean. All right, so for number four, it's gonna be the Ford Pass app. Um, let, me, let me pull it up real quick. So the Ford Pass app, I'll include some screenshots on the, um, on the screen, but it's really convenient. You can actually lock and unlock the vehicle um, from your phone, which makes it very convenient. If you're laying in bed, forgot if you locked the car. I don't know if it's gonna show up. But yeah, the vehicle just locked. So using the Ford Pass app, really good app, I like it. Um, you can also track the location of the vehicle, check the oil pressure, tire pressure. Um, so wicked cool, I props to Ford for that. All right, so for number five, this is going to apply to the non-performance pack model Mustangs, um, and that's what I have right here. But they actually come with Brembo brakes for the non-performance model. Um, I believe it's only four piston Brembos and not six piston Brembos as found on the uh, performance pack. But still wicked nice to see uh, quality brakes um, for the car, especially on the base model. All right, so the next thing is going to be the ambient lighting of the vehicle. Um, it allows for a lot of customization. You can change the colors um, and there's lights for the door sills. Um, if you get the premium model, the door sills light up. There's also lighting by the feet um, and a bunch of other spots. I'll include some uh, clips of it at nighttime. It's very cool. Uh, makes the vehicle feel more premium, which is very nice. This is available on, I believe it's just if you get the 401A high package, um, that comes with the security package. But if you um, lock the vehicle, and let me show you real quick. So the center console right here, um, you can open and close it, no problem. But if you lock the vehicle, and you try to open it, you can't, it's locked. So that's not gonna open until you uh, unlock the vehicle. Now it can open up. So for number eight, the vehicle, if you get the manual version, um, the stick shift, has automatic rev matching when you downshift, which is very easy. It's, it's 
it's kind of a gimmick, but it's it's kind of nice when you just downshift and like automatically revs up. Um, especially if you take the car on the track, that's a really cool feature to have. Um, but yeah. Ugh. All right, and for number 10, um, there's so many things I love about this car and I've only had the car for about a month now, put about five, 600 miles on it. But for number 10, it's gonna be the functional heat extractor. So this is really cool. Um, if you're driving the car hard, um, all the heat from the engine bay will just scoop over and with the front grill, all the air is gonna go in and then go out. Um, and I'll see if I can include a clip um, the other day when I was driving the vehicle um, a little at a higher RPM range when I stopped the vehicle you could actually see the heat escaping from that uh, heat extractor okay awesome but I think that's gonna cover it for the 10 things I love about the new 2024 Mustang um, again it's a great car I love it um, let me know what you guys think down below let me know if there's any other cool features that you love about it um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time on the next video.